Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. This is episode number 14, I think. <laughs> Always forget. Anyways, I'm Ella. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers and hi to all of my returning subscribers. <sighs> As usual, I don't have a lot to show. Or I feel like I don't. And then it's like 30 minutes later. But a uh, disclaimer is you might hear some nursery rhymes. My son's in the living room watching TV and he's awake, obviously. <laughs> But um, I'm just going to hop in. I need to film real fast before I do some other grown-up things. <laughs> but I just thought I'd hop on my film pretty quick. And hopefully get it uploaded and all that stuff before the morning. Before in the morning. I'm already babbling. <laughs> okay, I got my computer right here as per usual. So if I'm looking over here, that's why. Alright. Hopping in. I don't think I have any... Thing important to say before I start. So I'm going to start with finished objects, which is just one thing. Uh, and it's not crochet. <laughs> the only finished object I have this week is a little bag. It's, um, it's made out of fat quarters. There's two fat quarters, the outside and then the lining. Uh, it's not interface because I have no idea how to do that yet. It's a drawstring bag. And this uh, material, both of them are just Walmart brand. Well, they're not Walmart brand, but they're the kind that sold at Walmart. I don't know the company. <laughs> and it's just a ribbon that's in it. I found this tutorial on YouTube. Um, she doesn't really have a name for it. It's just drawstring bag tutorial. I'll link it below. But I made it intending to be a project bag, obviously. But it came out a lot smaller than it was supposed to. It's supposed to be a little bit bigger, but I kind of messed up on my measuring. And uh, I'd like, I like this bag, though. I'd like to make it more you know, in a bigger size and then maybe interface it so that it stands up a little bit better. I am using it as a project bag though. There is something in there that you'll see in a few minutes. <laughs> I think it would be a good size for socks or for what I got in there. I have my mittens in there right now. But yeah, I like, I'd like to make bigger bags and interface so that they stand up, which I already said. The bottom is, I don't know if it's called box, I can't remember, but the bottom is special. <laughs> it's not just like a sack, it's just um, I think it's called boxed. I'm not 100% sure though. And it does sit up. I don't, you probably can't see it, but it does, it does sit up. It's just, you know, because there's no interfacing, it's just flowy material. And, um, I didn't pre-wash this material, which I guess you're supposed to do when you sew, but I'm a beginner, so I guess I can get away with it. <laughs> and this ribbon I just picked up at Walmart also. I'm not sure if it's even the right kind you're supposed to use for stuff like this. But it functions, and it's cute I think. The seams are crooked. You know I'm new so the seams aren't great. And on the inside like up here at the top I didn't I should have backstitched to like um, reinforce that. But you know this is my first go at doing this so I think it's pretty good for a first time bag. Oh I do have another finished object actually and actually I finished it like a week or two ago probably maybe even longer than that. And it was a pattern I was testing for Lucy Coats, and uh, other people's already talked about it. And I don't have it with me because it's already in my living room being used as decoration, but it's a spider in my green. I will insert a picture somewhere of it. It was a really good pattern. I liked it a lot, and I'd like to make it again. I think my favorite part of the pattern was the legs. She, she put like a, like a knee in it to where they're kind of bendy. I thought that was real neat. I'd never seen that on an amigurumi before, and it did add something to it, you know. It's just, I like it a lot. It's hanging underneath our TV as Halloween decoration. That's my only finished objects. There's maple syrup on my table. Devin ate here before he left for work, and there's syrup on my arm now. <laughs> but, um, I made waffles. Anyways, that's all the finished objects. On to whips. I forgot the word. You think I'd know it. Alright, my first whip will be the grease blanket get it out of the bag. I'm still housing it in my snappy bag, which I think is still available, but it may not be. It was limited edition pattern. Um, typically when people have limited edition patterns, they sell it and then they don't sell it, and then a few months later they start selling it again. And it's just kind of to get the hype up about it so that people will buy it. But um, it's a good pattern. I like it a lot. I think I'd like to make more of them and use a different pattern. It'll be linked below to you if it's still there. I don't know if it's still there. <laughs> but there are similar patterns. Anyways, grease. Alright. I got a lot I got half of this done. Okay. 
I got all of greased and the beginning of lightning. Got the L and some of the I. Which kind of looks wonky. I may have messed that up. I'll have to look. It's pretty long. This is only half done. <laughs> so it's going to be big. And I've been slacking on time in my ends. I need to do that. This is part of my grease blanket that's a crochet along going on <laughs> at Chaos and Chop Suey. Ah, my hook's stuck. <clears throat> uh, it's paid for pattern. It's easy. I mean, it's corner to corner. If you want to do corner to corner and color changes, you can do it. <laughs> this is my first corner to corner, so I guess I'm not the best judge of that. Mine does look a little wonky, but like I said, it's my first one, so it's allowed to look wonky. <laughs> um, it's paper pattern. It's eight dollars, I think, and there might be coupon codes randomly. This she has that this is going to be her last uh, crochet along for a while because her husband is in the army, I think, and he's getting deployed. So after this uh, cow is over with, she's going to take like a break from that, which is understandable. She's also got a friends themed one and a uh, Gilmore Girls themed one that you can buy. And just do, you know. Alright, what's next on the list? My shawl. I worked on it a little bit. I haven't been saying the yarns. Hold on, I talked about one thing. This bag is made out of Red Heart Super Sailor scraps. And so is. And the grease blanket. <laughs> He's hammering or something. Is the white is Red Heart Super Sailor and the red is Mainstays. It's the Walmart brand. So far it's working out. Alright, my shawl for the shawl along. I'm making this, it's the, excuse me, Naturally Southern Scarf by Lash, Kathy Lashley. Um, I'm making it for the shawl along hosted by Hannah at Cozy Cottage Crochet. This right here is where I was last time I showed it. So I've only gotten that much done. And all this white part up here I did yesterday. Every time I'm working on it, I if I'm close to a color change, I try to finish the color change first. So I had stopped right here, and then yesterday I did these few rows up at the top. It's getting some length to it. It's about a little over half of my wingspan, and I still got like half the cake left. This is Lime Brand Mandala in Genie. I'm going to try to use up this whole cake with this, even if it makes it kind of big. Because, I mean, if it's bigger, all you do is wrap it around you more. <laughs> But uh, I really like the pattern. It's, oh, I'm going to pull some stitches out. It's the same two rows repeated over and over again. And it's a super simple repeat. It's pretty, I think, too. Oh, I like things with holes in it. <laughs> but it is a free pattern on Ravelry. I think it links to her blog. I don't know. I'll link it below. But yeah, this is for the crochet along that's hosted by Hannah, which I didn't say that. Uh, it's going into Halloween, and which is good because it's probably going to take me that long to finish this. I really didn't think it would take me this long, but I don't get to work on it much. And I guess because the rolls keep getting bigger and bigger, it's taking longer and longer to finish. I don't know. I do like it, but I don't plan on making another shawl anytime soon. I like making smaller things or blankets, which is kind of funny because blankets can be huge, but... I don't know. I just have always liked making blankets and I like making amigurumis. Uh, I think I said everything about that that I needed to say. I'll also link the crochet along uh, Ravelry page below and then you can visit it if you want to. Alright, my next one is in my bag. I can finally say that. Oh, that's the seam side. If you look, I don't know if you can see it on there. But I, I sewed it and tore it out and sewed it and tore it out, I think, three times. I was getting so frustrated. I kept getting the measurements wrong, and then when I finally got the measurements right, you're supposed to put them, you know, um, what is this called? What is this called? I forget. But you know when you're supposed to put them facing each other? I accidentally put them facing away from each other, and then I sewed it. And then I, when I, after it, I sewed it, I was like, oh, that, I finally did it right. And then I was like, Oh no, I sewed it the wrong way. So when I had, you know, the lining was facing the picture part. I forget what that's called. I don't know. I'll learn the terms hopefully. Alright, now this is going to be for my mittens. And this is the one that I, f I had finished that I showed last week. And I didn't really work on this much either. I think I got the whole cuff done. Yeah. This is um, Red Heart Super Saver Neon Stripes. This was one of the stripe yarns that came out before the line of Red Heart Stripes came out. This yarn is probably one of the yarns that made them come up with that. That, um, I put that back. I think I did. Uh, 
And this is all I've got of it so far. The second one. It's just the cuff. And I did like one roll around. And I'm losing my stitch again. I did this the other day just sitting on the couch with Jesse. Whoops. But yeah. I'm hoping... I don't care if the colors don't stripe the same way, but I hope that they stripe... I don't know what I'm saying. I don't care if the colors match up, but I hope that they stripe the same way. Spaced out the same and not just like weird. I don't know. We'll just see. Either way, I'll wear it. These will match my scarf that I made a few years ago, which I will show y'all. I got it laid out to show you the stuff that I made that we already use. And I'll show you that after I do whips. But yeah, I love this this one mitten. I hope the other one comes out like this one. Because I love it. I can't wait to use it when it's cold. I'm still worried about that gap, though. But I've seen other people post theirs, and it's got the gap, too. So I guess that's just part of having a mitten that folds back. I don't know. And I still need to maybe put a button to hook back there. But I really don't mind if they flap around because, you know, if I'm outside, it's just going to be closed. But if I'm doing something, I'll be, I'll have it open, but, you know, I'll be doing something. So it doesn't really matter if it's flapping around or not. But anyways, that's in my cute little bag. I love this bag. <laughs> and it's cool that I made it, but it's, I need to improve, but, you know, it comes with doing it. All right, my last whip, I just started it couple days ago and I only worked on it that one day and then quit and all I have to show of it is this <laughs> the arm and a mitten this is going to be Santa Claus <laughs> uh, this is a pattern by Mary Smith and if you've watched me at all you know that I love Mary Smith's patterns <laughs> I have a lot of them and I want to have all of them one of these days this is Santa's arm um, she has a whole line of Christmas people and I have I have Santa, Mrs. Claus, a snowman, a nutcracker, and an elf. I think that's all her big Christmas people. And then she has little ones. She also has Halloween people, and she has like um, a scarecrow, which I have, and a turkey, which I have. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Santa Claus, he's going to be about 18 inches tall. Maybe a little bit bigger because everything I make tends to come out bigger for some reason. Uh, I'm pretty excited about the Santa. I want to make Santa and Mrs. Claus before Christmas just to set around for decoration. And possibly the Nutcracker if I can pull it off. If not, you know, next year. But uh, this is Red Heart Super Saver. This part of him is the red and green of his whole outfit will be. And the white probably will too. And the skin color. Pretty much all of them, I'm sure, will be Red Heart Super Saver. Because I have a ton of it. And, you know, use up what I have so I can buy more. But yeah, this is just his little hand. I do have his other thumb made. Yeah, I have his other thumb made. I don't even know where it's at. I'll have to find it. I think it's in my bag with my hooks. But, um, and then you attach, you start the, the mitten, and then you attach the thumb to it, and then you do in circles. I love patterns like that, and I'm hoping the arms are done the same way. I think most of her patterns are. And I love it when they do that so that you then you don't have to sew body parts on. They're just crocheted on. being off quiet. I should probably go check on him in a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's all my whips. And I already said that's Santa. It's, it's just called the Santa Emma Groomy, I'm pretty sure, by Mary Smith. Alright, all the links will be down below. As per usual. Okay. I don't have any acquisitions, I don't think. I don't think I bought anything. But I'm going to show you the stuff that I made that we wear. Alright, this hat right here is Devin's. I made this for him like a few months after we first met. And it's just a striped slouchy beanie. He has a big head. <laughs> obviously. But um he wear he's worn this a lot. I don't I don't even know this is four years old I guess. A little over four years. But yeah it's just a basic striped beanie. I think it yeah it's actually the same as this pattern which I'll talk about in a minute. But instead of making it um, reversible, I just went ahead and carried it all around. Because I didn't think he would use this side. And I didn't even think to just do a normal beanie. Because I was, I don't know. But he loves it. He's worn it a bajillion times. He used to wear it to work all the time. Uh, I don't think he wore any last year because all of our stuff is packed up. It smells clean. So it doesn't smell like it's been worn. But then I made him this hat. Which I've actually worn this one a lot. This one is reversible. I did sew in the end so it could be normal striped or this kind of stripe. These are slouch hats, by the way. Um, 
these are these are the only things in my tray that I know the patterns to. These are um, I got sidetracked. I'm sorry. <laughs> these are the all grown up uh, slouch hat or something like that by Tamara Kelly, and she has arm warmers and something else that is in this set, but you know he wouldn't use arm warmers. But I don't think he likes this pattern. I like this pattern. He, when he wears these hats, he just wears them this way. Just regular stripes. His favorite colors are green and black because he's he's a musician. He plays the guitar. His dad's a musician. He plays everything just about. But he like he really likes the band um, Typo Negative, and that is their band colors. This hat. I, this is just. Oh wait, this is a hat too. <laughs> I just forgot that this was a hat. I haven't worn this one much, and I didn't do the ends properly but this is a hat for me it's, it's a it's a slouch but not super duper slouchy it's just a little slouchy I just these are all red heart those are red heart too and this isn't a self striping yarn but um hold on I got a text from Devin he just got to work let me text it back love you okay <laughs> sorry but these are just red heart colors gold and takura I think and then just some purple color but then after I made this hat like a year or two later the whole on top I didn't pull the string tight enough I got a pom-pom up there but um I think Bernat came out with a color that looks just like this and it's their pop and it's these same colors but I just thought they looked pretty I thought they looked you know they're like jewel tones and they kind of reminded me of like what's that Disney jasmine you know colors I don't know I just thought it was pretty and then this is the hat that I wear most of the winter. <laughs> this is a hat that I just winged. It's a slouch hat and it looks like it's double crochets all the way up to like right here and then it's single crochet the rest right down. Or possibly half double crochets, I can't tell. It's very worn. I don't know if you can see but there's like fuzzies all over it from where I've worn it and washed it. This is the hat I wear the last two winters. Yeah, I've worn this. This is also Red Heart. Randy will know this one because she loves this color. This is a Red Heart Black Lot. This is slouch hat. Did I already say that? We like slouch hats. <laughs> I like slouch hats because I can wear my hair in a bun and wear a hat too. Cause I hate I hate when you put on a hat and you have to take your hair down, and then when you take it off, you have like a hat hair. But yeah, this I wore this. Let's see here. I wore this all 2015 and all 2016 winter. So I made this when I was pregnant with Jesse, or before. Well, I was already pregnant, but I may not have known it yet. Um. And I remember I wore this to all of our doctor appointments and stuff that were in winter. And I always got so many compliments from like the um, CNAs and stuff about it. And this is my favorite thing ever. I wear this every time it's cold at all. This is my scarf. It's doubled. This is Red Heart um, Neon Stripes. This is just like my mittens. And I tried color pulling when that was a big thing. I think it was last winter that started getting real popular and I tried this is like the moss stitch or something like that I can't remember linen stitch maybe oh, the band just started up <laughs> but I tried color pulling and I pulled it out and tried it and pulled it out like a thousand times because I never could get the gist of that and then when I I gave up I was like fine I'm just I'm just gonna let it do what it does and then it ended up striping all the way down and I think this is two skeins maybe this is a skein I can't remember. I think this is too because um, the variegated ones are always smaller than the normal ones, which is kind of stupid. I wish they didn't do that. But I love this. I wore this. Yeah, I think I made this the same around the same time I made this. I made it to match that, even though it didn't really match because this was way darker than this. I, I might make a hat out of this, like this, and then have the scarf, the mittens, and the hat. I don't know. I just I love this scarf. I wore this so much last few winters. Mm, I just love it. It's just just a simple, simple scarf. No, nothing fancy. I just love how it's striped. I mean, I know it's a self-striping yarn, so it's supposed to stripe. But I don't know. I just think it's so pretty. I love this scarf. Can't wait to wear it again. That's the things that I've made that we actually wear. I have a few more hats that I've made and kept, but I haven't actually worn yet. And I'm going to make some more because I have an idea to make a, a hat with mandala. Nothing fancy. It's not like I'm going to design a pattern or nothing because I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I thought 
was Thunder. I think it was in the neighbor, so. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to talk about, I think. I don't know if you can hear the band. The band's going on, the neighbors is making noise, and Jesse's in there watching cartoons, so it might be really loud. Or it may just be me. But um, I have dug my sewing machine out, obviously, if I made this bag. I'm gonna. I also this morning I fixed our curtains because they were way too long and I hemmed them, which I was terrified I'd mess up and they they look normal to me. But um, <laughs> excuse me. I want to learn to sew better so that I can make project bags and possibly other things. And uh, so I, I got some more fat quarters, but I know I'm gonna need bigger something bigger than fat quarters. You know, actual yardage to make bigger bags. But. Um, I might make a few more like this, because this would be good for like little, like my mittens are in there, or like a little amigurumi or something. That'd be good for a sock bag, but I don't make socks, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess that's everything. It's kind of a quick video. I'm hoping it's not really long, because there's not much to talk about, in other words, I could just be babbling. I don't have any life updates. Everything's pretty much the same as it was. Um, yeah, let's see here. No life updates. The only thing is, it is almost October. October, let's see, today is the 28th. It's Thursday. I almost always film on Thursday and then upload on a, well, Thursday night and then release it Friday. So Sunday is October 1st. Jesse will be 17 months old on Sunday, which is crazy. Which, and then Halloween countdown begins. And I had mentioned before about possibly doing Vlogtober where I vlog every day in Vlogtober, Vlogtober, October. But I'm probably not gonna do that because I tried to do like a random vlog the other day just to see how I could edit it and stuff to, you know, put it together. The band's getting closer because it's getting louder. But, um, and we don't do enough interesting things to film. Like that day in particular, all we did was went to Lowe's to return something that we ended up not needing. And then we went to a store, just a, a new store that opened up just to check it out. And uh, we didn't buy anything. And we pretty, we went and got ice cream and we came home. That's pretty much it. But I might still do like, on the day that we're going to do something, I might film. Because like sometime in October I want to go to a pumpkin patch with Jesse. We didn't get to go last year because he was so little and I was afraid it would be too cold on him. Of course right now it's like in the 90s so maybe I'm hoping it will cool down. But yeah, we want to go to a pumpkin patch. There's a place really close to us that does a pumpkin patch and they have like a playground thing and they also have corn mazes. I've always wanted to do that, but now that Jesse's older, he can, you know, not be so difficult to take around. Uh, my stepdad's doing okay. He went to the doctor yesterday and he's going to have to do, I think, two more weeks of antibiotics. But things are looking a lot better. No other updates. <laughs> that I can think of, so I guess I'll just go ahead and hop off here and go on with my, he done moved the couch. I blocked him out of this room, let me see if I can, sorry. Ah! Dropping you. I put that baby gate up to block him out of in here so that I could have my sewing machine out. And all that junk. Oh look, he's moved the couch. <laughs> he's blocking me out of the living room. Okay, ooh, the camera's crooked, sorry. This is why I probably shouldn't vlog, because it would be horrible. Okay, you're probably really close to my face. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here and go do stuff. He should be ready to go down for a nap. I tried to get him to lay down before I filmed, and he wouldn't do it. So, But i got to go clean up and do some grown-up things, and I will see you guys next week. Um, yeah, I feel like this was really short and kind of boring, but oh well. Give me some likes and comments. I love talking to y'all. Oh, link below is my Instagram if you guys are interested in following me on there. I do post fairly often and I share all kinds of giveaways that I come across. So if you're interested in giveaways, go over there. <laughs> um, I have a Ravelry group, which is kind of, it's got some activity in it, but not much. And I also have my Ravelry page linked below if you'd like to add me on there. But, um, oh dang it, I meant to do some shout outs and I forgot to get, I got just stuck my hand in the maple syrup again. I gotta clean that. But, um. I guess the next video I'll do some shout outs because I've found recently a lot more cro more crochet related um, podcasts, video people making things, yeah, <laughs> but um, that I want to share with y'all because, you know, some of y'all might not know who they are. I feel like I totally slaughtered that, <laughs> but um, even though I don't knit, I still like watching knit people who knit, so 
But anyways, I found some more crochet related ones. I will do that in the next video so that I will quit repeating myself. I'm going to go ahead and go edit this and add that picture of the spider so I don't forget to do that. And maybe one of Santa so you get an idea of what he's supposed to look like. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I will see you guys next Friday. <laughs> I already said that like three times. Okay, bye. For real this time.